morning everyone it's just getting light and I thought before it did there you go the tree is up no baubles on it yet but I spent all evening doing the tree I've had a rotten cold this week so video might be a bit sparse but yeah on this tree all the branches are individual it takes me a good couple of hours just to do that bit and me and they have had this tree since our first Christmas together and I wouldn't change it for the world so it's nearly 16 years old and I love it so I thought today we're going to put all the bulbs on the tree. I have lots of Christmas goodies here. I've got stuff scattered everywhere. Look at this, look. That wood was supposed to be put up this week and it's not happened. The builder's not turned up. Oh dear, I can't wait to get this paper off the wall. This is the situation, same as every morning. This little one, or this big one, she's been suckling this morning. I swear this dog is never going to grow up, she's just such a baby. Right, so I thought before we put that tree up and get ready and do everything today, I'll take you through a morning skincare routine. When I stayed at the spa, I don't know if you remember that, I was gifted this, a spa, it's called the Optimal Pro Cleanser. I spoke about this in the beauty haul last week, I'm pretty sure, and I'm absolutely loving this. It's a cleanser, but you've got tiny beads in there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like a textured cleanser. It smells, there's neroni in there. And lemon, I think, but it feels absolutely beautiful on. Quite oily, but it's an oil to milk sub substance. It's an oil to milk substance. So as soon as the water hits it, you're gonna lose that oiliness. And I am loving these cleansers that do that because they just feel so lovely when you're using them. It's really nice. Feels absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and I've been really impressed. So, that's the cleanser I'm using at the moment. And it's a fair size tube, you don't, you don't need a lot. It's just a lovely way to wake up. I'm using these cloths as well. I got this in the supermarket. I think you can buy them online. It's like made of a really soft microfiber material, but it's, it's lovely to use. It even helps get your eye makeup off, so it's great for using with, if it's dry and putting your eye makeup remover on. And yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Now, one of the, uh, one of my regular commenters asked about the beauty stuff last week and said, what do you use when, how do you do it all? So that's my first bit is, is uh, the cleanse. Now I'm gonna, pat my face dry the next the next step I would use my Saint Tropez 
purity tanning mist. As I've said, I, I will never be without this product again. It just gives you that little extra glow. I just love the colour. And regarding foundation, someone said, so what colour foundation do you use after using this? Well, I haven't changed any of my foundations. I just find my foundation works just as well. I just look like I've got a little bit more colour. So I've not changed my foundations at all using this. Right, so I'm waiting for that to dry. Actually, while that's drying, I've got the Prey. Um, this is the Ageless Throat Caviar Recovery Serum. It does actually say overnight. This is a gel, but I use it morning and night. And I've used Prey for a long time. I've got quite a lot of their products. I'm working on my chest area because these are the areas that I neglected a lot in my youth and now I'm paying for it. But anyway, I anyway I love the serum. That seems to be helping right now. Yeah, I think we're pretty much dry. Always make sure that's dry before I put anything else on. Because otherwise you're just going to spread that tan everywhere. So next, heating, central heating. I always use hyaluronic acid, but at the moment I think it's ultra important. I would normally only use this at night, but I'm using it day and night now. For that extra hydration there's nothing worse than central heating um drying your skin out i'll put it on the eyes everywhere the neck i find um the gloopier the hyaluronic acid, the better it is. Don't ever put it in the palm of your hand because you're just wasting it. It sinks in so quick. This, that already has sunk into my face more or less. So yeah, this one is by Dermaworks. This one's by Dermaworks and I've, I've really been impressed with it. I've got, also got a vitamin C and a retinol. It come in a little kit. You can buy them separately or they come in a kit. This is what I've used the most. I do like the vitamin C as well. Yeah, all the links will be down below anyway. Right, so that's more or less a little bit wet there still. It's just a waiting game, isn't it? Waiting for it all to dry off. And, and what I always think is that older I get, the more stuff I seem to be using. <laughs> it's just never ending, but do we give up? No, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try and look the best I can. Right. Eight hour cream. Always, always, every morning and every night. Just a little bit on the lips. It's the best. And I always go just above the lip line. I swear it's helped. I've used it so many years. So that's that. And then finally, the cream that I'm using at the moment is the Aspar. If you watched last week, you'll know that. It's nearly empty. I'll be sad to see this go. I'm not sure if I'll get another one. I'll get sent so many creams to try. I don't get a lot of time to just choose what I'm going to use. I'm always trialing creams, but this has been one of my favourites. It's brilliant, but as I said, it doesn't have SPF. I'm not going out today. 
because I'll be doing the tree and all sorts of stuff so I'm using that. My foundations have got SPF in as well I'm pretty sure. Yeah so that is the morning skincare routine. Dressed, hair done, all done. Um, I've just been doing a story for Bon Marsh in this uh, new Bon Marsh dress. I don't know if I've showed it on here yet. But yeah, I really like it. I did actually wear it with a uh, brown belt and brown boots. And I took some pictures and I thought, well, it looks just as nice with the black. It's a really easy to wear piece. Actually, I'll show you it with the belt off. There you go, it's just like a smocked, smocked yeah. dress. Really, really comfortable. Um, this is by the Andrea McLean collection. I think I, yeah, remember from the, yeah, from the um, event that I went to. It's got a nice little tear on the bottom. You've got this nice smock in here, little puff sleeve, and I love it. I love the colours in it. So I'm going to go down now, make a cup of tea, and we'll go and do the tree. Right, I hope it's not too dark. The weather is awful out, so, but I'm going to put you on a time lapse while I finish off this tree. Actually, while I'm here, I managed to pick up one of these from uh, H&M. And I think it's so Christmassy. It's just not too blingy, not too over the top. You've got reindeers on there and all sorts. Um, 3 99 and the first time I went on, I saw them in store. I should have bought them then. And then a couple of days after that, it was sold out everywhere. And then last weekend I saw them online and I managed to get one and then they was all sold out again. So I'm hoping they're going to have some more in because I really want two. But £3.99 you can't go wrong. I'm really pleased with it. in the reindeer cup look at me <laughs> I've literally just finished I've got the cushion on though I'm really pleased with that the tree is up and I'm shattered I'm absolutely shattered and I've still got bits and pieces to do I'll give you a oh hello I'll give you a look at the tree in a minute takes me so long to do. I'm going to get the doctor to help next year, I think. And you got excited. You're wondering what's going on, aren't you, Bo? Hmm? Mm. It's nearly dinner time, so... She's looking grumpy. Where's my dinner, Mum? Oh, no, she's watching the TV. I'll uh, give you a look at the tree, anyway. So let's lift you off. Oh. <coughs> the thing is about the thing is about getting ready for Christmas. You get all the decorations out and you start putting everything up. And then your whole house needs redoing and retidying because it's just so messy. You should see my floor. And it's already been hoovered today. Oh, look at the hair. Even the hair's gone. The hair's gone a bit funny. Isn't it? You ignoring me? 
Come on. Come on. You can just say hello. She has to sniff my hair. She hates it if I've got my hair tied up. She tries to take it out of the ponytail. She really doesn't like it. I don't know what that's about. Hey. But you've been a good girl getting everything ready. And you didn't break anything. Well done. Hey. Don't look so sad. Why are you looking so sad? Because it's dinner time. Oh, dinner. Did I say dinner? Do you want your dinner, Bo? Right, okay, she's gone. Let's have a look at the tree. I have a real mix on this tree from D and I's first year together. I've got some of the things on there from the children. I've got things on there from my first year of Christmas. Uh, I know this one is very old. That was Mum's, and like I said, I know she bought them when I was a baby. She always used to say to me about how long she had had them. Um, that's Dee and one of the grandchildren. There's one of me as well. They're actually key rings, but we had them done for Christmas, so we kept a couple each. Um, oh, look, yeah, there's me. There's me and the grandson. Oh, the fairy. <laughs> now, she's supposed to go on the top of the tree, I know, but she's just too small to go on the top of the tree. That was bought the year I was born as well. She's a little bit worse for wear. And we've got all sorts. Um, someone bought that for Mum, one of my brothers, I think. And there's, it's just this I found in Mum's uh, decorations and it's a carrier bag, a little tiny Christmas carrier bag but I thought it was so cute I had to put that on. These are old ones. I think you can really tell the old from the new. They're just not made in the same type of glass like this one. Uh, it's beautiful. But it's just not the same. They're not made of the same types of materials. Every year, me and Dee normally buy a ball or two to go on the tree. I am going to have some meat pie. I've got a meat pie on the go in the oven that I made. Hello, Chuzzle. Hello. Um, and I'm going to eat that, I'm going to get my pyjamas on and I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day. I am shattered. I've been doing stories for Instagram today because um, it's been Black Friday. I'll be putting a lot more of them up tomorrow. I've been doing all sorts. I am shattered. Afternoon everyone and it is only afternoon, believe it or not. I've got these kitchen lights on, but there's no lights on in the living room other than the tree lights, so you can see what a dark day it is. Oh my God, the weather has been awful today. So what I'm up to today is I'm just about to make some biscuits for mum's birthday. She would have been 90 today. And I'm going over to family later. We're gonna put on a little bit of spread for mum and a birthday cake. Sarah, my daughter Sarah's making the birthday cake. I'm making biscuits and my aunt's making a little spread up apparently. So it's gonna be a nice little family get together. Mum always wanted to just make it to 90. When she found out she was had the cancer, she said she felt cheated at 86. She just wanted to make it to 90. Um, but yeah, anyway, I thought I'd go through you. I thought I'd go through with you making these biscuits. They're so 
easy to make shortbread you might have already done it yourself but some of you might not have done so i thought i'll take you through it uh i have to make these biscuits in droves at christmas because all the kids love to have them so yeah i'm going to take you through it so here we are in my <laughs> unpainted kitchen i have explained why um i'm going to take you through everything that i use it's really simple plain flour it has to be plain the texture just comes out so much better caster sugar and it has to be anchor butter or the best butter you can get uh, because there's hardly any oil in anchor butter this is the only butter that i can have because a lot of butters have a lot of oil in them let me just finish my tea look i've got the little christmas mug out i've got the oven on at 190 and i've got my trusty scales and this uh, food processor this is ancient there is actually a little crack in it it doesn't affect the inside but i have had this years and it's been brilliant i only bought it in tesco's it was cheap as chips but it's been a brilliant little processor so let's have a little measure so i'm going to do the flour first 190 grams i will leave the re recipe down below I'm going to embarrass myself now because you're all going to see how messy I really am. Right, so 190. This will make about 20 biscuits. Told you. Right, that's 194. I don't want to go over. To the side because you use that for rolling out then reset your scales and we're going to go 60 of caster sugar And then 130 of butter, um, it's about, works out to about three quarters of a block. And what I'll do, I'll get that big block and I'll weigh that before, that's 170, so that's too much. That's 138. So take that sliver off. There you go, dead on 130. And what I'll do now is I'll just slice that up and coat each piece with the flour because I think it mixes better. And they do also say to put this in the fridge once you've um, mixed it all together, but I never have done and it's always come out fine. This is the salty butter, by the way. And that is literally it. So I'm going to stick that on there now. Give it a whiz. <coughs> Pinch it, see if it's going to go together. Yeah, that's going to go together. It's a little bit cold, so it's come out quite crumbly. But once I get that on the side, 
and knead it a little bit, that'll go, that'll be fine. It's only where it's cold that it's gone crumbly, I think. This rolling pin, <laughs> there's a burn mark on it, but this was actually given to mum on her wedding day and uh, yeah, I, I treasure it. So that's a very old rolling pin. So I'm gonna tip this out. And look, it's gone so crumbly. That's gone so crumbly, but you put some heat onto it and that should start gelling together. I think it's just where it's so cold. And the more you need it, the warmer it will get. And it will just stick together anyway. I've always kneaded it well once it's been mixed. I don't know why, because it doesn't say to do that on the recipe, but I just, I don't know, it just seems to come out nice. I don't know what it does. I've been making them for so many years now, these biscuits. gradually pick up the excess as you need it so that you don't waste any. Yeah, it's getting nice and soft now. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's give this one another need. Because this glass worktop is so cold as well. It's Tell you what, I love this glass worktop. It doesn't stain. It's brilliant. You don't get any anything. Tea stains. They just come straight off. And I like the sparkle, of course. Right. I think we're nearly there. Yep. So that's that. Right. One little trick. Cling film. I'm going to cut off a piece of cling film. Pinch of flour on the side. Get your shortbread bread mix. Put the cling film over the top. And that will help hold it all together while you're rolling it out. And it won't stick to the rolling pin. Such an easy, effective way of doing things. Right. Get the cookie cutter. It's got to be hearts today. Right. So that's three. So there's the first lot. I'm just going to prick them with a fork because I like to sprinkle them with icing sugar once they're cooked. They only take about 10, 15 minutes maybe. Need it 
in they go. So there they are, that's the first lot done. 10 minutes, it takes no time. And trust me, a batch of these, wrapped up nicely, makes a lovely Christmas gift, I think. So I'll leave them to cool a little bit longer. number two. Cheers. Here's to the beginning of Christmas. Mm. <laughs> afternoon everyone and it is afternoon and I think it's about half past three and it is dark. I've had to put the lights on everywhere. I've got a screw loose in my camera and it's worrying me. I hope this is going to last out through Christmas. Um, I know you hear, I don't know if you watch a lot of vlogs, but I watch a lot of vlogs and I use the same camera as all the other vloggers and they're always saying, oh my screen's broke, I need to buy a new camera. They're not cheap cameras, they are not cheap cameras and for little vloggers like me that's not really earning anything out of this YouTube yet I would hate to think that I've got to buy a new camera but I have found replacement screws just for the sake of fixing the screen so I'm hoping it can be remedied that way Anyway, you're most probably wondering why I'm standing outside the room. So I've been a busy little bee this morning and I'll show you, well this morning, most of the day, I'll show you what I've been up to. There you go. Let's put you on a tripod and turn some lights on. Better. <laughs> tripod at the ready. Right, I'll take you through what I'm wearing actually because we have the heating on so it's nice and warm. This top, um, I don't, it, it would have been in one of the new in holes. This Reese top, I think I bought this July, August time, and this is the first time I've really worn it. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I've moaned throughout this vlog about how bad I was at wearing any of my wardrobe lately and being too scruffy. So today I've made a little bit more effort. I had to go out and get the tree. So yes. This is the first time I've worn it. I don't know if it's in stock anymore, but I've actually felt quite good today being a little bit more dressed up. And these trousers, these green trousers, they've got the pleats and the pockets and the little belt. These are from Denmark. I don't know if you remember the little Denmark haul that I did, but I have been wearing these a lot. They're great with knee high boots underneath and of course I've got my little Primark slippers on um, I don't know if you remember I cut the gold chains off but they're, they're so comfortable so yeah that's the look oh and I've got the Anna Luisa pearl earrings in really really pleased with these because you can see them through my hair even though my hair I don't know what's happened to the hair it's I have wings <laughs> but hey ho if I put conditioner on my hair it just goes really 
I don't know, it doesn't hold the curl so much. My hair is quite naturally curly. But <laughs> it's obviously lost a lot of its curl today and I now have wings. So there we have it, the tree. I went and bought us a little tree. I did a poll on Instagram stories uh, because it came up that this time last year uh, if you've got Instagram you can go into your archives and uh, it will show you what you posted this time last year and I had posted my tree and I, I, I put a poll up and, and said do you think I should do this again I've got a lovely tree downstairs do I need to do it and 99% of my followers said yes so I went out and bought a tree but I thought it's nice for everyone, you know, trying on the outfits and whatever, just to have a little bit of festivity. It was a very messy journey. It's not as good a tree as last year. I bought this in Tesco's. It was £20. I don't know if you've been following that long, but this time last year I bought it. It was £20 for the lights and the baubles and £20 for the tree. So last year it cost £40. I've got it perched on my dad's old toolbox down there. <laughs> yeah, so last year it cost £40 and this year it cost 20 So not bad. And so to finish the Christmas prep off, I've been doing Sarah's advent calendar. Oh, that's come undone. Sarah's advent calendar. So I need to pop this round to her very soon I hope this I look a bit green don't I <laughs> a little bit green there's not a lot I can do about the dark I did think about putting my big lights up but hey ho yes so that's what I've been doing wrapping these up for her advent calendar so I thought I'd chat to you when I'm doing so and what I did want to say was all the comments for the Sex and the City. So many of you are big fans like me of Sex and the City. And you know what I was thinking? How lovely it's going to be on December the 9th. Wherever we are in the world, I don't know if it will be shown at the same times, but we're all going to watch it. So I'm looking forward to that. Just that thought is nice, because we've all been chatting, haven't we, about the sex and the city. You know who you are, all the people that commented. And I just think it's a nice thought that we're going to be watching at the, you know we're all going to watch it so it'd be nice to have some discussions I thought about the series I'm so looking forward to it and I don't know if you know I know a couple of things actually being a little bit big headed um they have an Instagram account called I think it's just like that or and just like that. I'll leave it in the description box below. And it shows you all the outfits that they're wearing while they're filming and all sorts of little bits and pieces. That's quite interesting. But also, um, there's lots of snippets going about on YouTube where they're filming. Uh, there's a new intro. I don't know if any of you have seen that. And I, I can't stop watching it. Badness. I'm that excited. And then, of course, soon I'll be going to the pop-up of Carrie's New York apartment in Covent Garden. I'll be taking you to that. I can't wait. I'm excited. How many have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another 14 to do. 14 to do, right. Yes, um, 
We had a lovely time at my aunt's in memory of mum. Sarah actually bought some uh, lanterns. They were ones that decompose naturally. It was it wasn't being naughty with rubbish. What would you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? I'm using my marbles. Um, environmentally friendly lanterns, but it was so windy we couldn't we couldn't do them. I was really sad about that. I was looking forward to it. So we didn't do them, but the biscuits all got woofed down. As did the cake that my Sarah made. And it was just a nice family evening. It was really nice. Right. Oh, one thing I wanted to say was that I've had some lovely deliveries this last couple of days. And I've kept them secret. So I'll be doing um, an unboxing soon. Not an unboxing. I'll be doing my new what's new in my wardrobe soon and there's some lovely pieces in there i was thinking about doing a evening what you know a more dressy up what would you wear if you was going out you know i've got no parties booked i do have a riverboat meal on the Thames coming up so for things like that you know it's not something where you need a whole glamorous evening outfit but what you would wear you know if you was going to friends for the evening or if you was going out for a meal just something a little bit more dressy I was thinking about doing a film like that so let me know if you're interested but I'm looking forward to showing you the new in pieces. There's some beautiful new pieces. Yeah, so I thought I'd wind the vlog up here now. I'm going to have to get my filming lights out. I think it's getting more and more difficult. I mean, we're most probably coming up four o'clock. And look, it's like night time. So, thank you for watching. I'm Christmas ready. Are you Christmas ready? I say Christmas ready. Everything's ready. But I haven't bought any presents yet. <laughs> I have a few to buy. So I dare say we'll be going out shopping. Anyway. Thank you for watching. And if you manage to make it to the end of the film. Say. Ball ball. Ball ball is the word. Please subscribe and give the films a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love that and I'll see you soon.